check one two one two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chu, the voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's the beat for me. Wow 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 w
Your family really going. That's why they don't like crawfish. That's why they don't like crawfish because people be steaming them. Lord, please don't do it. Please, whatever you do, don't steam them. I already put them in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Wanda Fripp. Shout out, shout out. Yes, you got to suck the head. That's the only way to go. Anyways, shout out to all my dogs and Dawn in the building. Um, Yeah, shout out to all of y'all. Um, Who else we got on? Oh, another thing I want to say, you guys, uh, following this, we will be going over to Rumble, where I don't know which one we're going to discuss, okay? But let me tell y'all something. Rumble people. To the Rumble people, y'all on here. First of all, yeah, y'all like the video. A lot of people, y'all ain't like the video. But to the Rumble people, now, this is the list of people that I have. But I want to get into somebody else. Now, I got Teddy Pendergrass, Al Green, Riri, Aretha Franklin, Red Fox, Richard Pryor, Marvin Gaye. That's the list. Oh, and Quincy. I got Quincy, too. I got Quincy. But this is what I'm trying to say. I really want to get into uh, Riri Daddy, C.L. Franklin, because you know that's where the original freak offs was at the church. Yes. Girl. So let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. I feel like I need to do some research on C.L., because you know, C.L. was a pastor and a civil rights activist. This could be some tea. Ain't no, not that Riri. Not uh, not not uh Seaman Riri. I'm talking about Aretha, ain't he Riri? Re Aretha Franklin. Not 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 shine bright like a seaman. Not that Riri. I'm talking about Elder Riri. You know what I'm saying? Y yeah, the OG Riri. Yeah, not that, not that Riri. Not 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 that Riri. That's not the right. <laughs> We going to talk about her today, but not that Riri, what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, you know, they say her daddy was the baby daddy for the baby, girl. They got a lot we could be discussing. I'm just saying. So give me a, let me get, let me pull all my resources because the CL one going to take us down a hole too. If you're on here and you know, you know, um, y'all pull up to Rumble. Um, yeah, go ahead on, follow me on Rumble, girl, because it's going to be a time coming up, a time will be had. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's what the original freak offs was, girl. Ray Charles said he ain't been to a nasty, the nastiest freak off he ever was, or he ever been to, was at C.L. Franklin house, and he couldn't even see. What's up? And he couldn't even see. So for him to say that the freakiest freak off he ever been to was down at the Franklin house, what that tell you? And he can't, he ain't got no eyes. Oh, mind you, uh, yes, I was just about to say that. CL and Mike Mike, a.k.a. Martin Luther the King, was like that. And it's also rumored that Martin Luther the King was her baby daddy, too. But we don't know. We got to get into it. That's what I'm saying, girl. Listen, we'll discuss it. It's a lot we got to discuss. Rumble people, y'all know how we roll, how we get down, okay? So, Girl, TD, they, from what they say, me, TD don't have nothing on CL, baby. They say CL ran the whole, listen to me and listen to me good. They say anybody who was anybody in the pastor's world, they had to go through CL. CL was the Mike Mike, the Martin Luther the King of the pastors. Yes. And they say that you had to go through him. I got Quincy. We could pull up Quincy today, too. It, it, I'm just saying. I'm just talking about in future. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing CL today. I got to pull up. I got to do some research. I got to do some research. Girl, yes, yeah, Sheila. Yes. I didn't say it. This is what they said. So y'all got to be strong when y'all come over to Rumble because we're going to deep dive and we're going to see what's going on. I'm trying to see what happened at the freak offs. Because they say, oh, girl, it was a time. Y'all like the video. I don't want to spend too much time on it because I ain't trying to be on here all day. Like the video. Like the video. Like the video, please. And thank you. Shout out to my Rumble people. Y'all follow me on Rumble. It's going to be a time. It's going to be a time. It's going to be a time. Okay? Uh, Yes, Quincy did some stuff to Will Smith. We're going to discuss it. We're going to discuss it. Like the video, you guys. If 511, nope, 515 people in the building and only 271 likes, you guys. Like the video, you know, they say Richard Pryor will put stick his thing in anything. And they say that his um wife came out and um said that he really did sleep with um that man. What's that man? The comedian man. 
We rumbling after this, Queen. Queen me, we rumbling after this. But this is what I'm saying. They say Richard Pryor was. But we'll get into it. That's that's not that's not for over here. We'll get into it. That that way we could, you know what I'm saying? No, they say Paul Mooney had S aid him. They say Paul Mooney S aid him. And they say Red Fox and Paul Red Fox and, and Richard Pryor used to be at the FOs back in the day. And they say somebody walked in and was and opened the door and it was in there with animals. Take that information and do with it as you please. Let's get into the day's lineup. I'm just telling y'all what they said. Do not come over here with that ugly ass shit over there on, on Rumble. Because on Rumble, I get to cuss you out like real bad. Do not come to Rumble with that, okay? If you're sensitive, go to church. Well, you might not want to go to church after we dig in the C.L. Franklin, girl, please. Yes. Y'all late, girl. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Anyway, like the video, you guys. Like the video, like the video, like the video. Today, we are discussing... Today, we are discussing a few um titles. We have um Missy done took her time off from Dagging, and she's going to go on tour. It's going to be her, Sierra, and Busta Rhymes. Immediately, I thought of gonna make, gonna make, gonna make your body wet. And then I thought of music make you lose control. And then I thought of a many a plethora of songs of Missy. Missy could do a whole tour. Missy could do the Super Bowl and Sierra, to be honest. Quiet as is kept. Missy and Sierra could headline the Super Bowl. But, you know, she she put a uh, dagging tour to the side and she said she gonna do a tour. So, you guys, uh, we gonna get into that. Also, uh, we have to get into J-Lo. I keep telling y'all, y'all don't want to listen. J-Lo continues to show y'all she ain't nigga. But niggas want to make her nigga so bad. It, I hate to see it. I, black people, I hate to see it. We'll get into it. And then um, we also are going to get into Riri. Shine bright like a seaman. Shine bright like a seaman. All in her satanic garb. And I guess because it's big head Riri, we gonna let um we just gonna let that ride. Cause it's Riri. Yeah. Cause it's Riri. We gonna let it ride. Cause you know it's Riri. You know what I'm saying? That's what I that's the consensus I got as I read the uh the comments and went on Twitter. The consensus is it's Riri. So if she want to come out as Satan himself, that's okay. The seamen said they stood together, they swam together, and they're going to go down together, okay? So we're going to get into that as well. Seamen, if you're on here, I need y'all to band together, okay? Because this might be a rough ride for y'all. Band together. All the seamen, I need all of y'all swimming in the school. You know how they say the, uh, the, 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 um, they say to all the, 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 the fish swim in schools. I need all the seamen in schools, okay? Y'all need to stick together because this is going to be a rough one, okay? I, I'm just saying. I just want y'all to be prepared and be strong, okay? So, yeah, we're going to let Riri uh, worship the devil, but we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's get into it. Um, Let's start with um the tour. Let's go get the tour, girl. Let's go get the tour. So... Um, what's the girl name? Missy, Missy Elliott announced the tour. She said her bust a bus. I ain't gonna lie, Buster got some hits too. Her bust a bus and um what's that lady name? Sierra. Sierra. They going on tour. They say, get your tickets now, bitches and hoes. That's what they said. And I said, Oh, that's gonna be a nice little tour. Girl, what is going on over here? Not the hair, it's the mannerism that they shoot. Listen, and let me go back. I'm sorry, I got distracted, y'all. I'm sorry. Let's go get the tour. So they're going on tour, you guys. Grab your tickets. If you um if you had an appointment today with Miss Missy, you're gonna have to postpone this. This is a big deal. They're going on tour, they're going together, bus the bus. I don't know who opening, I don't know who closing. I want to assume Missy is closing and Buster. Is opening because Buster gives Buster vibes. You know, I don't like I don't like Buster no more. I like his music though. 
But personally, I don't like them no more. Personally. Y'all know why I don't like Buster? Because Buster tried to make it seem like um like uh hip hop was started in Jamaica. Nigga, is you crazy? Why them niggas over there still hollering Bumba Club Street? If it started out there, why them niggas ain't out there beatboxing? Girl, I can't stand it. I don't ever since then, mm -mm, I don't want no parts. No parts, no parts. Let's go get um. Let's go get it. Cause I didn't, I didn't like that. It started in Jamaica, girl. Y'all, New York, New York. I hate y'all melting pot. I want to tip the whole damn pot over. I hate y'all. I hate the melting pot. I don't hate y'all. I just hate the pot. You know what I mean? I just want to, I just want to, I just want to, wherever the melting pot is, I would like to tip it over. Do you hear me? Y'all the most smartest lost niggas in the face of the earth. Do you hear me? Y'all are the smartest craziest lost niggas in the face of the earth. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Okay? I, I just don't understand about the pot. The pot really, it don't sit right with me. I don't like the pot. I don't like the pot, y'all. I don't like it. It just caused too much confusion. I'm sorry. I love New York, but I don't like the pot. Don't blame it on me. I'm just telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like the pot. Just throw the pot away and we could be all right. God damn. Anyways, so here we are with the tour, right? We got Missy. You see Missy? You know they done cloned her and sent her back out here. Sierra is giving they um paying homage to um oh uh, what's that movie where they was out in the dirt and all of that? Y'all know what I'm talking about? There you go, Angel. Angel, I'm not doing it today. You trying to throw me off my rock and tell my bust they ain't tell no lie, girl. Them niggas still using drumsticks to hit bowls and make that bloop, bloop, bloop sound. Well, how they how they created Mad Max? Thank you. Hold on. Angel, now you got to stop. How did they create hip hop in in um in, in Jamaica and they still hitting bowls to make beats? Y'all, uh-uh, no, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. They still hitting bowls, girl. Now y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop now. Y'all got to stop. Y'all y'all have to stop with this now. New York, I love y'all down. Y'all my special people. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to stop. Y'all have to stop. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, see O'Brien's 5280. It's all right, you know? Just stop it now. Just stop. That's why I want to tip the pot over right there. See that type of stuff? That is why I would like to tip the pot over right there. Mm-hmm. That's a percussion, a percussion instrument. Girl, it looked like a big-ass bowl to me. It looked like a bowl to me. It looked like a bowl to me with a drumstick. And they go, they they swing, they, uh, from the look of it, they be, um, they be stirring it up like this. They stir it up. You know what I mean? And they might hit blue, 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 blue. They might hit it once or twice and then stir that bitch up. It's all going back to the pot. I'm sorry. I don't know. Anyways, girl, they say Tina was a whore and a slut and a tramp. Girl, they say she was pimping and girl, listen, you listen, in y'all face, girl. I'm saying y'all, y'all not about to make me seem like I'm crazy now. All right, let's get into it. Um, so here are the here are the tour dates. I think they got a video. Let's go get a video. So there, here are the tour dates. Uh, it says the Out of This World. This the it's, the name of the tour, you guys. It's called Out of This World: The Experience. Important dates this week: Verizon presale Tuesday, April 9th at ten a.m. local. Artist presale Wednesday, April tenth at ten ten a.m. local. Uh, cold out of this world. If y'all want to go here, I'm telling y'all how to get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all how to get there. Live Nation, Master, Ticketmaster, I'm sorry, Venue, Radio Pre-Sales, Thursday, April 11th at 10 a.m. Well, girl, where y'all going to be? Pre-selling for where we going? Where y'all going to be at? Girl, please. Here go, to, here go the individual pictures, girl. Look. So you know Missy going to headline it. Y'all know Missy gonna headline. You guys like the video. Please like the video. 402 likes and 700 and some odd people in here like the video, guys. 
Missy, you know, they done, they done um, put clone her and brought her back out. You know, because y'all remember, that ain't the old Missy. Y'all know the old Missy. The Missy we knew was Big Bike. Teed it. That was, you know what I'm saying? She looked like an AT, but she was only 20. This is, um, you know what I mean? She, here you go. Here you go. That's Missy with her. She coming out, coming back out looking like um, uh, um, Young Miami. And then we have Sierra. This beat is automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. You see it? Okay. Do you see it? This is Sierra. She got on a coat. So it must gonna be cold at the th at the theater or at the uh the stadium. You guys bring a jacket, okay? Here is Sierra. They say she channeling um what's the lady named Tina Turner from uh Mad Max. Nah, I know Sierra got some bangers. All three of them got bangers. I ain't gonna lie, this is a good tour. This is a good tour. I ain't gonna lie, this is a good tour. And then we have Bust the Bus. Gonna make, gonna make, gonna make your body wet. You feel what I'm saying? Every time I gotta go, I'm I gotta get it, and I gotta get it, and I gotta win it, win it, da 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 Why y'all let Busta get away with that ugly ass shit? After I actually got the words, and I realized that nigga say about a boom, about a bing, bitch, y'all let Busta play in our face. Why y'all let Busta? He said it so fast, we didn't catch it. You know what I'm saying? Let's let, can we talk about how Busta? Hold on. Hold on, girl. Why y'all let Busta play, play in our face, y'all? Y'all wrong for that. Y'all wrong for that. Busta said about a boom, about a bean. And we was like, ooh. Y'all let that man play in our face. Girl, he said about a boom, about a bean, about a boom, boom, boom. I said, and look at niggas. Ooh, that nigga called that nigga. Yes, he did, Burns. That's what he said. And then he wants to slip it in, but I got to get it, got to get it. Oh, no, nigga, I caught you. I caught you. See, I used to be the type of person going to get the lyrics. I need to see what's going on. I need to memorize it. You know what I'm saying? So when I get the rapping, I can say it the right words. So I can feel like I'm better than the people who don't know the words. Y'all know how they Y'all know how they go. Listen to me and listen to me good. Black people, y'all know how I go. Especially if it's a new song and it's a fire song when you know the words and everybody don't. You, you sing it harder. You know what I'm saying? You sing it louder. And so, you know, that was the goal for me to learn the words. So when that part come on, everybody shut up, bitch, I could be running it. And then when I saw about a boom, about a bean, I said, bitch, this nigga played in our face. This nigga played in our face. And look at the niggas. Ooh, that shit called. That nigga called. That nigga, that, that nigga better than Twister. That nigga, that nigga. <sighs> Needless to say, he'll be at the concert hollering about a boom, about a bing. Get your tickets, okay? Get your tickets to go hear uh, uh, Buster say about a boom, about a bing, because he's going to be there about a booming and about a binging, okay? Make sure you get your tickets, y'all. They say they're on sale. Somebody said they're going to Atlanta. When they going to Atlanta? Hold on. Somebody just said that. I don't, I don't care. I'm not going to go because I don't really go to big concerts. But they said um, they're going to be in Atlanta July 27th. That's what Chris on the G. I don't know who this boy is. But he said they're going to be in Atlanta July 27th. So you guys go out and get your bada boom, bada bing. Okay? He going to be there. Um, you know, it's funny because I think, number one, like I told y'all before, this is going to be a super great tour. This is going to be like, it's going to be... Fire as fuck. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hate. Even with the bada boom and bada bing, that shit about to be fired in a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I think that uh, it's well deserved uh, because we haven't seen these people in on tour. Like when the last time Missy was on tour, you know what I mean? So I think this is gonna be dope. I think this is um this is gonna be something to cry home about. I'm here for it, and I think you guys should go and support. Go support, at least for Sierra. Now, if you don't care about the other ones, at least go support for Sierra, okay? Now, let's move on. Wait, I wanted to see if they had a video. I think they had a little video, huh? Let me see. I think they had a little video. We're going to get into a couple of side subjects while we on here. I can't scroll on Twitter with y'all on here. Hold on. Let me go see. I thought they had a video. Hold on. 
Y'all make sure y'all get y'all. I, I let me tell you, it's not that I wouldn't want to go. I don't like huge concerts, y'all. I never did. I've never liked huge concerts. I've always liked Hegel. I've always liked concerts um in small venues, house of blues type type tees. You know what I'm saying? I don't, it's girl, you gotta park and walk and you gotta go upstairs. And if you want to drink, you gotta ride all the way, girl. You gotta climb down 12 uh stories of steps girl it's too much i done bust the wrong turn at mars real quick Said I can't hold on. the year hold on here you go the, 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 the year shut up missy hold on i'm about to i'm about to play the thing so i'm really not into the big i like the intimate settings i like to go see kim you know what i'm saying you might win and he right there and i'm sitting at my table with my little cocktail you know what i'm saying and you know if i need if i want a little appetizer i could order my appetizer or if i want if i need another drink you know what i'm saying there's a waiter coming around like oh can i you know re yes you know what i mean I, I like that type of tea I like, you know, being at the small venues, you know, like that. I'm not, I ain't got time for all of that, girl, paying a, a thousand dollars to go sit in the nosebleed, girl. I'm not doing all of that. That's too much. That's too much. Okay? So, anyways, here's the video of um the future stuff that they say they're doing. Listen. The year 2024. These three icons come together to show you something you've never seen before. Mm. Something not right. I know what it is. Mm. This is not Earth. I'm gonna figure this I can't out breathe. now. Oh shit! I done bust the wrong turn at Mars real quick. Said I can't breathe. Oh, I caught that. I done bust the wrong turn, girl. I think I'm gonna faint. You're not about to faint. That's that corset is so tight. Oh. Let me call Tim because I ain't even playing with y'all. Tim. Yo, Missy, where you at? He made a wrong turn. There will be no tour like it. The year. A little more feminine, ain't she? You know, Missy was real hard dagger back. You know what I mean? Like, I'm Missy a little more feminine, ain't she? Look when she put her hand on the hip. It made her backbone slip. Missy giving a little more, you know, one of the girls. Let's go get Missy back on here. Look, ain't she giving a little more, you know? And she got a, I thought I was the only one, Vanessa. Vanessa, I thought I was the only one. She got a different voice. She don't even sound like old Missy. They say she a femme now. Girl, wait, ain't got nothing to do with the mannerisms, girl. She was giving Cleo off her of, um, set it off, girl. She was giving Dagger off of, off of set it off. But I, I thought I was the only one noticed her voice done changed. Listen, I'm about to go show y'all. I'm about to go show y'all. Hold on. I'm about to show y'all, because see, what we not about to do is act like I'm tripping. I need to show y'all. And I get it. People glow up. I get it. You know what I mean? I'm here for it. But let's go get, you know, the other Missy. Y'all saw that Missy. Let's go get this Missy. Let's go get this Missy. Let's go get that me. I'm super fly. Super duper fly. That Missy. Yes, let's go get that Missy. Which Missy, boo? That Missy there. Let's go get I Can't Stand the Rain. Get smiling down. Let's go get. See what I'm saying? That's a different bitch. And it was gradual, wasn't it? I'm just saying her voice was a little more... Every man wants a woman, <coughs> you know, but now it's given, hi, my name is T. Okay. It's just a little different for me. Yes. A uh, big bike and a trash bag. Absolutely. She, she looks really good. I think she looks just like young Miami. I thought I think she looks just like young Miami. Girl, let's move on. I ain't trying to be on here all deep. Let's move on. All right, let's move on. Um, we done got that. Y'all go get your tickets. That's gonna be a good tour. Y'all call me and tell me how it go. I'm not going. I, 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 I'm tired. I'm tired. Girl, I don't want to do all of that, girl. I, I don't even like going to Walmart. You know, I don't like going to Walmart because you gotta find a parking spot, then you gotta park. Then you got to walk all the way to the front door. And then once you get all the way to the front door, you still got to walk another mile and a half through the uh, store to get what you want. 
I hate Walmart for the same reason. So you know I don't like big concerts. You know what I'm saying? It feels like you got to walk three miles to get to Walmart. By the time you find a parking spot, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's move on. Um, Really quickly, a little side story before we get into the rest of the mess. Here we go again. Here we go again. Now, we had this discussion uh, this morning on the morning jokes. And one of my subbies said that uh, I guess they had a problem with me saying that cultural colorism is a thing. Right? Cultural colorism is a thing. What does that mean, Voodoo? That means, hey, girl, you could... Uh, we all black and we all in the diaspora, but it's, it's, it's different from American blacks versus, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, African blacks or versus Jamaican. It's the same thing, but it's a, it's, it's a difference, right? So when, when, what's the girl name? Wendy Osefo, the cosplaying, uh, Negro gal, when she decided to come out the woodwork and say that uh, Giselle and Karen don't have the range to discuss uh, colorism, I'm sitting over here saying, ain't your mama over there as white as a ghost? Ain't your mama fleece as white as snow? You need to go. There's a lot of other things you could be doing, okay? But anyway, a couple of, one of my subs didn't think that that was appropriate. And she said that um, it colorism only goes one way. I beg to differ. But I understand that it happens more way, more one way than the other, but it had nothing to do with which way it goes. What I was saying was an African can't tell a Negro gal, a Negro gal what the hell they have range for. You just can't. Not, not with my culture. Like I said on the thing this morning, can anybody in this chat go to Nigeria and tell the Nigerians that they, have, they don't have the range to discuss a culture, a colorism uh, context or conversation? I'd, I'd like to differ and think you can't. Not one Negro in this chat could cut your ass down to Nigeria and say, hey, you don't have the range to discuss colorism. Not one of y'all. So when I say it, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Nevertheless, I want to share this with you guys. Candy Eyes, who's married to a clear man, as she, as she uh, calls him, a clear man with a brown peaty bird. That's what she said. So um, so she is married to a clear man. He's going back and forth with Giselle. Giselle had already accused him of borderline essay. The way she put it off was like essay or whatever. And they're going back and forth, right? Now, she, Candy Eyes is a darker skinned woman who has this big thing, colorism, 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 colorism. Mind you, she says she only want to have brown babies, even though she's married to a clear man. She says a lot of problematic shit. It's just used as a crutch and it make it not even good for the, um, for the show. It's not even fun. It, it makes the show not fun to watch. Okay. So now she's going to go back. Well, no, I'm sorry. Her clear, uh, man. Oh, mind you, let me say this also too. You want to talk about colorism. She told the other uh, mixed girl. There's a mixed girl on here named uh, Ashley. If you guys don't know Ashley. Ashley is biracial. Ashley is also married to a clear man. She told Ashley one time that that's your slave master. Mind you, she married to a clear man herself. You guys like the video. How dare you, bitch? How you going to say that girl have a slave driver and you married to a slave driver as well? Girl, it's the iron. That, that, that's the type of stuff that made me be like, I don't, I can't. And I stopped watching it. But let's let's get into this. And the only reason I'm bringing this up because this is something educational for all black people. Okay. Not put Giselle in it. Like, so she's as no much like you feel how you feel, she feels how she feels. People can feel how they want to feel, and that's it's not okay. a feel. That's what she said. I don't know this woman. Candace said she feels that way. Much like you said you feel a way about what happened two years ago. Pause. Why is this male man address? And listen, I anybody who been following me and on my RHOP reviews, I do not like Gizzard and Robert. Gizzard and Robert are the two I do not like. That's Giselle and Robin. I do not like that. I do not like them. I'm sorry. But why is this man addressing her? Why? Is, I'm, I'm, I'm real, real, real nigga shit. Why is he addressing her about the way Candace feel? Just out of curiosity, take the colors off the table. Why is he addressing her? Oh, well, Candace feels, Candace is a grown-ass woman with a very intellectual mouth. She can speak. 
And I get it. He does have every right to defend his wife. I'm not saying that. But what, when does a man have to defend his wife to a woman? Right. Thank you, Mihi. When, when, um, when Peter was over there getting in the business and all of that, what did um, Nene say? Stay out of women's business. You giving, you acting like a bitch. Why can Peter be a bitch, but Chris can't? I'm, I'm confused. But my thing is this, even if the segment was about Chris, I think somebody saw that, that part of the segment was about Chris. Y'all, y'all, have y'all not watched the husbands, the real husbands? Like, for instance, Greg would have never. Rest in peace to Greg. Greg would have never. Greg sit back there and he support his wife. Hell, the uh, the marriage to medicine women's wives sit back and support their wives. I'm just I'm just trying to give y'all examples, right? The men have their stuff amongst themselves, but they don't go into it with the women. You see what I'm saying? Now I get it. Giselle accused him of bringing her into a room. She did. She accused him of, 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 of how she stated, forcing her into a hotel room. Well, not Eugene. No, not Eugene. <laughs> not Eugene. But listen, she accused him of, of forcing her into a, a, a hotel room to have a conversation. She said she felt uncomfortable and then she blew it up out of proportion. She was wrong for that because she made it seem like the boy had touched her or something. I will give y'all that. But what I'm saying is, even if the segment is about him, He's still speaking to Candace or how Candace, how she feels. She feels when it came to them talking about them too, that's one thing. But when it's talking about how it affects his wife, let his wife speak. That, that's just me. I don't know. I grew up with a father who's a real man. My daddy don't dip. My dad, listen, let me tell you how my dad is. If he even think women are talking, pew. Hell, my old man like that. My old man is so old school, he won't even go in my purse. Do you hear me? I, I guess I come up around different types of men. I, I, th I think that's what it is. I come up around a different type of men. I come up around men like Greg. You know what I'm saying? I come up around men like, you know what I mean? You know, like daddy or, or um, what's that crazy ass lady name? Um, Dr. Heavenly Husband. I come up with men. I come up around men like that. So maybe I'm, but let me let him finish, girl. Let me let, let, me let him finish. People feel how they feel. So you want to be acknowledged for your feelings? Let her be acknowledged for her feelings. Great. Fantastic. Next question. Okay. Uh, I thought that you and Giselle had kind of cleared the air last year and were cool, but it kind of seems like we're back to square one. I didn't say anything. Like I said, I nothing more to say on the matter. I left it at the reunion last year. It is what it is. I mean, it's very interesting. Some people say that Candace needs to be responsible for her words, but to allow somebody to say, I use the wrong word and we're just going to say, okay. All right. So Juan is not here today. Husbands knowing what she said, do not. The last part, I agree with him. The very last part, I agree with him. What he's saying is Candy Eyes got a mouth full of vigor. And whenever she says something, everybody do go all up in arms. But if Giselle is going to say, I, he forced me and then come back and be like, oh, no, I didn't mean to say that. Let's move on. That should not happen. That should not happen. But my thing is this colorism topic is not only getting played out. It is not even had correctly. It is not being had correctly because there is no way in listen, listen with Candace lost me because he I never really I didn't like Candace when she was on there with Monique and they had that fight because I felt like she played victim then. But I was like, all right, boom, let, let it go. Monique leaves. I was like, okay, I'm starting to like Candace. But when Candace sat across from that dog on reunion couch and told that girl, oh, uh, you with your white, wait, what she said, with your you looking like a white privileged ass. And then she told Ashley that her husband is a slave driver. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Just because you dog skin don't mean you get to say that type of shit. And I'm a dog skin woman. That was wrong, especially in front of a clear man, Andy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just thought that was so out of pocket, so wrong. And because everybody was already on the, oh, what was Candace? 
Hell no, nah, Bravo don't give a damn about no colorism. Hell, you know what's the worst display of TV not giving a damn about colorism? Girl, when they had Yandy Luther King sit down with some lady who said she was a professor and they talked about colorism. Girl, I knew we was in trouble when young Jock was the smartest one sitting at the table. Yes, I said it right. When I saw young Jock was the smartest person sitting at the table, I knew we was in trouble. I said, oh, my God. And it's nothing that no shade on, on young Jock. I just, I thought Yandy Luther the King with her degrees and whoop. Girl, them people making their coin. Never give a damn about no goddamn colorism. Them people making their money. Let's move on. Anyways, let's go get um Rihanna. And then we're going to tie Riri together with Sierra. So, um, Seaman, is y'all on here? I need all the Seaman come up, swim up to the front, Seaman. Shine bright like a Seaman. So shine bright. I'm going to give y'all some music while y'all swimming up. Seaman, I need all of y'all to swim up. I'm going to give y'all some traveling music. No, we're we not on we not on her yet. My bad, my bad. Stand down. No, not stand. Y'all don't stand. Y'all swim. Swim back, Seaman. I'm coming back. Swim, sweet Seaman. Y'all swim back. I'm going to call y'all in five minutes. Let me go get J-Lo right quick. Swim back, Seaman. I was about to call y'all. Y'all, when I sing the song, y'all come swim up. But swim back for now. We got to go get J-Lo. So, girl, let's go get J-Lo, girl. So, how many times have I told y'all the skim milk of the milk community are the trickiest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which uh, skim community is the trickiest of them all? The skims. I keep telling y'all, what makes the, the skim milk so tricky is they have the, the one foot in and one foot out type of theory, right? So what happens is because Negroes think that there's a black and brown community, they get all the privileges and all of everything of being a Negro, but not having to wear the Negro. Does that make sense? Like they get the act Negro, dress Negro, talk Negro, 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 nigga, 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 pick a nigga, 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 nigga all day long. And as soon as they leave y'all, they don't, they don't do all of it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the skim milks is very tricky because they trick us. They're not tricky to them. They just trick it to us. Okay. So J-Lo, you know, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the black. First of all, before we go to Jenny from the black, bitch, you know what pissed me off? When I found out that um, Ja Rule had this whole J-Lo on their lip singing to Ashante's um, voice. Bitch, do you understand how bad I, how mad I was when I heard that? Did y'all hear about that? Like the video, guys. Like the video. Did you guys hear? Oh, y'all need a commercial break, girl. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Y'all need a commercial break. Y'all doing the most. Girl, it's uh, almost a 1,000 people in here and only 500. Oh, girl, yeah. Let me get y'all on here. Let me get y'all a commercial break so y'all can come on back. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna discuss J-Lo. Y'all need a commercial break. Do me a favor. Hit that X. Let me, hold on. Get me up here. I'm sorry, I, that was the wrong thing. Hit that X, hit the like button, and come on back. I promise you, we're going to be right here. Go ahead on. It's gonna keep, I'm going to give y'all 50 seconds to hit the like button, okay? Please hit the like button. Thank you. I appreciate you. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. Now, it's your boy, Big Chew, the voice of the B. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a B for me. Wow, 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 then y'all be on here talking about voodoo. I didn't get the notification because you didn't like the video on the last one, girl. Like the video so you can get the notification. Okay? You have to be, we, got, we smarter than the algorithm. We got to be smarter than the algorithm. Like the video, okay? So look, 
Yes. When I heard, oh, yes. When I heard from Ashanti's mouth, baby, oh, yes. This isn't, I didn't say it. This is what Ashanti said. When Ashanti told us, that not only did Ja Rule give her his music to J-Ho, she lip sang over the doggone song. Which one it was, y'all? Because I'm real the way you walk. Which one was it? That one? I learned so many, many. Seems like they all the same. She didn't even bother going in there to record it, bitch. They said she uh, lip sing over Christina Milan and all of these people. Ashanti ain't lie, girl. They, uh uh, you not Ashanti. Why would Ashanti lie? Ashanti ain't lie. She ain't lie about that. That lady ain't lie about that. Now, nah, y'all got to stop. I know y'all like hey ho, but she, you, that bitch couldn't sing her way out of a plastic bag. Do you hear me? She lip sync over the girl music. Bitch, I would never forgive Ja Rule for that. I would never, girl, Ja Rule, bitch, girl, your skin, your thighs, I love it when you look at me, babe. Bitch, I wish the motherfucker I would. Girl, you done lost your motherfucking mind. Girl, he would never get me on stage with him, nigga. Go back and go, it's murder. Go sell that shit. Holla, holla. Everybody, do, 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 get holla, dollar. Go sell that ugly ass shit, bitch. Don't come over here talking about where our songs at, bitch. I would never forgive him for that. Girl, ain't no way. Ain't no way. He, his ass will be over there hollering, it's murder. Bitch, it won't be no, no, no collabs with me. Please. It won't be no collabs with me. After you done did that, that shit catapulted her shit all up in the, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, the bitch come on the scene. I'm talking about, hey ho, shout out to the Boogie Down Bronx. Oh, my bad, HTX, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, HTX. <laughs> I just saw it, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, sorry. <laughs> listen, listen, she can dance. But that's where the buck starts, and that's where it stops. She done come through here through in living color. If you ask me, them people be all on the agenda, and they do what they told. Because this whole wasn't even the head dancer over there on, on at the Fly Girls. She wasn't even the head dancer. How in the hell... How in the hell... Wait, hash nigga, what you said? How I said what? Don't you be saying African-Americans are native to the USA? Yes. Why would we have the same dancing styles as there? Like, are you making a correlation? I'm not trying to be funny. Wait, what you mean? Why would we have the same dancing style as who? Who you talking about? Like the, the who, like who? That was Earth sold that song. I don't care. He shouldn't have rapped. He shouldn't have rapped. I, can you clarify your question, Hashlinger? No, he shouldn't have rapped over it then. No, but listen, I believe them people be saying, um, they be, they be telling them where to go. They sent her. She wasn't even a doggone. She wasn't even the, the head fly girl. So now here we go. Here we go. She goes from now to Diddy. No, did she go to J ja Rule first or did she go to Diddy? New York is y'all on here tapping. Which way did she go? Oh, yeah, Selena movie. But see, the Selena movie didn't put her in hip hop, though. The Selena movie was, yes, the Selena movie was off the chain, but it did not put her in hip hop. What got her mainstream? Listen, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I believe that the Selena movie is what took her from the background dancer on, um, on a, on, on a living color and it catapulted her into mainstream. Absolutely. Okay. But what solidified her career was coming in through in living color using hip hop. So I don't know if Diddy came first or Ja Rule came first. It was a lot going on behind, you know what I mean? It was a lot going on around that time. But ultimately what got her to Boom, out of there was the Diddy, I mean, the uh, the, the hip-hop scene. Remember she was talking about she was from the block and she had the New York fitted? Her and, her and Diddy used to be at the parties. Allegedly, they said that she was the one carried the blicky into the club that popped that lead in the face. 
I heard that too. I, they said Ja Rule was over there getting drilled. And I don't mean tip drilled, okay? But anyways, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, she was able to come jump off the porch and come into black culture. Use y'all up. You can see black people, y'all, black people, we love a good using. Oh, I gotta spread the news. Black people, this should be our theme song. I gotta spread the news. That if it feels this good being used, will you just keep on using me? This should be our theme song. Until you use me up. Oh, we love to get used. We don't want nothing more in the world, in the life, in the life and in the world to get used. We love to be used, Lord. They say, use me, Lord. They, I thought y'all was just talking about the Lord. I didn't know y'all were talking about everybody. I See, when I heard the song and the hymns in church, I, when they say, use me, Lord, I thought y'all was just talking about God. I didn't know y'all were talking about everybody. Y'all love a good use in black folk. Oh, you love it. You live for it. You can't live without it. You eat, sleep, and breathe being used. And I particularly don't like it. So she got what she got. And pew, gone. Bye, hoes. Bye, bitch. Bye. The fuck? Next time a nigga see her, oh, get him off. Go get him away from me. Uh-uh. Get, uh-uh. Security. It's a nigga. Get him away. Oh my God. It's a Negro gal. Ew. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mark Anthony, help me. Jesus Christ. Ew. I need to wash my hands. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all remember in 20, what it was? 19. What year that was? Y'all remember that year they had that whole headline, the motherfucking Motown? Um, uh, 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 the, the Motown, um, not the reunion. What they call it when you pay homage um, on a award show? She had she she headlined for Motown, bitch. The tribute, the tribute. I remember seeing that saying, "Bitch, I know you fucking lying." Bitch, I know you motherfucking lying. I remember saying that like, ain't no motherfucking way. There's no way possible that this uh this girl headlining the tribute. And you know what niggas was telling me? Shout out to the niggas. I'll never forgive y'all for that. I have a list of things I would never forgive niggas for. And this falls on the list as well. As a community, I know I'm a part of the community. I am me. I'm in a community. But I have a list of things I will never forgive Negroes for. And that is one of them. Okay? She could do it. Why she can't do it? She part of the Black and Brown Coalition. She from the boogie down bro. Why she can't do it? Why? Bitch, you mean to tell me that wasn't one Negro gal they could have got to deadline the tribute? They, that, that wasn't one. Not one. She's the only one. The bitch was over there hollering, her beady beady bumba. She wasn't even making American music around that time. What the fuck? The bitch was over there her beady 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 bumba. And y'all want to go get her to do the Motown tribute where it was all Negroes? Black people, I never forgive y'all for that. I will never forgive us. I would never forgive y'all for that. I would never forgive you. Never, never, never. Yes, yeah, Smokey and Barry, Barry Gordy did support it because they puppets too. Anyway, anyway, she did that thing, and one of the background dancers came forward, and he was talking about his experience and how she was acting like, ew, get the niggers away. Oh, oh my God, it's a nigger. Get the raid. So let's get into it. This is what the boy said. I have a J-Lo story. The year is 2019, and I'm dancing with Jennifer Lopez in the 2019 Grammys, and she was asked to do the Motown tribute, and she said yes. As we all know, Motown is a record label, is Black-owned a home to the most iconic artists in history, Diana Ross, the Supremes, uh, The Temptations. Like, come on now, we know what's going on. I had worked with her previously before. Uh, I did a music video of her, a couple performances, I think Billboard Awards, some other stuff too, which, you know. Uh, I, I, it, it was cool, whatever. I was just very shocked that she was going to do a Motown tribute at the Grammys, which is a award show for music. I walk into rehearsal on the first day. Oh, here was the first red flag for me. I walk into rehearsal the first day mm -hmm. to the Motown tribute rehearsal. Mm -hmm. There was only three black people, including myself. Yeah, don't say. Everybody else in the room was 
white or other let me say this too because see this is the part y'all have to understand black people they erasing you from your goddamn history they are erasing you as you speak from your history they doing a motown tribute and only three black people in the whole shit but she's in the brown community though girl kiss the brown part of my ass let me let y'all finish girl <laughs> you know, Hispanic, but there was three black people in the room and that was the dancers. Okay, we're, we move on, we press on. I'm noticing that even when we're doing formations, like we're, we're being placed on stage, the, I'm talking about us as far as the black dancers, we're being pushed away from the center, which is where she is. I remember this, like I really remember this moment. It was me and the other black dancer that were opposites. We were right, it was her in the middle and then it was us two. She said, they have to move, they have to move. Well, Y'all can't see it. Okay, we move past that. We move past that, right? We move past that. We probably now into like the third or fourth day of rehearsal, right? And that article came out saying, you know, why is J Lo doing the Motown tribute? Like, I don't know if y'all remember that, but an article came out saying, I think it was like Variety, but somebody, something big, a publication came out asking why she's doing it. The, the team sat us down and they were like, I know you guys are seeing some negative press and blah blah blah. Chash, she gonna walk in and tell us. Y'all know what? We're gonna show them why I'm doing it. I remember she like raised her. <laughs> I was dying. I was dying. I didn't know what was going on. I was so confused. I was so, so confused. Press on. That day of rehearsal was like actually easier. So like, I was just like chilling. At this point, y'all, I'm here. I'm doing my job. That's what I'm doing. Break for lunch, right? My hair at that time looked like this. So I'm there with the choreographer at lunch. We're all talking. I think Jennifer's there. She's talking to us too, actually kind of being funny or whatever. And literally looks at me dead in my face. She goes, so what are we going to do with your hair? Oh, yeah, girl, I get it. Listen, I get it. Is my hair Motown? No. Ain't nothing about this performance Motown. Ain't no Mo, ain't no town in here. Hi, I just want to take a brief intermission from the story to remind everybody that there was a salsa breakdown. A salsa breakdown. Mm -hmm. But you worried about my braids. Also, I want to be very honest. Like, let's be clear. I was, it was 2019. I was really in my professional dancer bag. I was trying to dance behind artists and do the things. So I'm happy that that happened when it did, because if it was 2024, I went to my friend who's a hairstylist. Shout out to Tiger Bomb. He's the best hairstylist in the world. I love him so much. He basically gave me like a custom, like Motown look because I was so scared. I was like, oh my, I'm going to get fired. Like, I don't know what to do. So Tiger ends up giving me this look which I ended up loving, so shout out to Tiger. What really gagged me is I'm over here thinking like everybody's gonna be doing like a Motown, like a vibe, like, uh, but again, I'm, I remember what I said, there's only three black people. So I'm trying to think, what's everybody else gonna do? Child, look at what they was doing. And what really sucks is like the black dancers that were on the job were like phenomenal. Like, I'm not gonna put nobody's name out there, but like the female dancer that was in the female section with all, white and other females like she was whooping ass like eating those steps pushed out pushed to the side push push push, push. honestly it was a line she was all the way at the end and i remember sitting on the side and being like but not only like forget the fact that she's black she's eating and let's not forget the fact that she's black it's a motown tribute so yeah, child, that's the last time Yenny from the block got any of my time, my energy, and, you know, ham and cheese on a roll with a bag of chips and an orange drink, if you know, you know. I have a J-Lo story. So that was uh, his account of his J-Lo experience. I believe him one trillion percent. He's not the first person to say that she has been very uh, horrible to black people. Let me also say this. This bitch is on our shit, on a Motown motherfucking tribute. Do you hear me? Please hit the like button. Yes, me. Yes, a salsa breakdown. Why not? Why not? They should have celebrated Chinese New Year in the middle of the motherfucker too. Oh, yeah. Because black people want to invite everybody down to the culture. You know, we love a good using and we love a good invite to the cookout. They should have did a Chinese New Year in the middle of the Motown tribute, too. Yes, they should have. Oh, yes, they should have. They should have put J-Lo with the salsa breakdown. They should have had Chinese New Year come in through that bitch. They should have had the Irish uh, parade. They sh yeah, that's what they should have did. Because we love that. That's what we love. We love handing out tickets and invites to the doggone cookout. So he said what he said. Yes, there was a salsa breakdown. And she looked at a black man wearing a black style and telling a black man, what we going to do with your hair? Bitch, what we going to do with your legs? So what you mean? 
What you mean? Fuck wrong with you. What you gonna do with my head? No, bitch. What we gonna do with you in, in, in the Yokato Taco Bell, though? Bitch, the fuck? But that's the, the mindset they get when they... You see what I'm saying? I'm over here doing your shit. You, no other culture allows that. A Negro can't go into no other culture, whether it be other black people or clear people, and, and have that attitude. You They will not allow it. They will not allow it. But niggas, oh, come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, you want to step on my neck? Oh, sure. Come on and step on my neck. I need that anyway. My neck been hurting. That's us. So yeah, he looked at, she looked at him crazy and asked him about his motherfucking head. Then did you hear how he said she pushed all of the black, the, the, the girl who was the best dancer pushed her all the way out the frame, damn near. And then like that, she had two black men on each side. But she black dude. But voodoo, there's a black and brown coalition, voodoo. How dare you? She's not clear. She's in the black and brown coalition, voodoo. Didn't I just prove this shit to y'all about Carly? I'm uh, not Carly. Cardi Red, Cardi Red, Cardi B the other day. Well, how many? How, let's go get let's go get Tommy Davis. And I already got him queued up, y'all. Don't worry. Let's go get Tommy Davis and see what he had to see. Let's go get him. And I got uh Jamie Foxx saying the same thing. And since he is J Lo was rude to him after her success from being on Living Color plus Jamie Foxx jokes on J Lo years ago. You know, but but um, we used to hang out with with me, her, my ex. We used to go to dinner together. Right. So I saw her at the upfronts. Um, it was me and Danny DeVito, mm -hmm. and he's like, "There's no, there's." There's Jennifer Lopez over there. You know her, right? I'm like, yeah, I know her. So I go over there. I'm like, what's up, girl? Shoot, man, you blew up. What, what is going on? She's like, hey. Like, so what's going really? on? What's going on? I, you know, just living like, you know, get some little carrot dip. Now I'm going, you know, what's in that carrot dip? You know, because... She's your dip in my ass. You know what I mean? Right. So I just avoided her because you never know what someone's going through that right. day. Right. Right. I right. could be misreading. Right. It. Right. You know, I always got to get the love, but that, right. but that's from my profile. Right. From being the black and between the white right. and all that. So I'm needy in that right. way. I can admit that. Right. But I do love love. Right. She. We had the same um, manager at one time. Right. And she was doing a video up in up in um, Jen, in the block. Yeah. Jenny, 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 Jenny from the block. Block, 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 block. Right. right. That one. And so um, he said, why don't you go and visit her on the set, man? She would love to see you. And I was like, nah, that's all right. That's all right, man. Right. He's like, nah, man, come on, man. This is you. Come on, man. I was like, nah, that's all right, man. Right. That's all right, because one time is enough right. for me. Right. So I go down on the platform, and there she is, you know? So I get down to the, to the end of the thing, and I look at I knew you was coming, MOB. I was waiting for you. You late. Welcome to the party, MOB. You late. I knew you was coming. I knew I couldn't count on nobody to be MOB to come in and talk about who they not claiming, girl. MOB, please. We go through this every time we bring up one of the people from New York. I am tired, MOB, but I'm happy to see you. It's good to see you, fat. I'm glad you're in here. You know, I be looking for you to say you don't claim us. So I'm, it was. it's good to see you, baby. I'm glad you're in here to tell us y'all don't claim um J Lo, hey J Ho, I'm sorry, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mob. If Mob don't do nothing, he gonna come in here to tell me who they not claiming. So shout out to Mob. I was looking for you. Welcome to the party, Mob. You're late. I've been looking for you, but I'm happy. I'm ready to be late than not here. So shout out to Mob, y'all. Yes, Mob is the MVP. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Let's get back to Tommy Davidson. I'm sorry. Look at her, and Benny's going. Come on, man. let her know you're here, man. I'm like, all right, man. And I go, Jennifer, what's up? And she goes, hey. So that was like the last, you know? I don't know how she's going to be when I see her next, but the next time I saw her, I avoided her. Right. Because I don't like feeling that way. Right. I don't want to be around anybody. Being Jennifer, and she got mad. I saw her at the Grammys, and she was upset with me. Now, you know, I know Jennifer from In Living Color. You know, she was the fly girl and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? We go back. 
You know what I'm saying? I remember before the J Lo, you know. I remember when it was just hey, hey ho. I'm serious. Don't try to front on me. I'm like, hey, hey ho, hey ho. I remember before the J Lo was hey ho. And she just was real upset with me. But I, I walked up to her behind the stage at the Grammys. I'm saying, hey, Jennifer, you know what's up? Psst, psst, psst. She hit me with the beatbox. Fellas know what I'm talking about when I say the beatbox, don't you? So, two world-renowned black actors who were actual stars on a show when this bitch was over there learning an eight count. When she was over there learning an eight count, two actual big stars on this show went to go say, hey, girl, you blew up. Congratulations. And she, oh, oh get the niggas. Somebody get the niggas. Please get the niggas. It was a nigga. That's her. That's her. But like I said, black people, we are glutton for punishment. We love just thinking everybody accept us. And some people do, but everybody don't. Now, niggas done put her on, Percy. And she acting like, oh, get the niggers away. Oh, niggers, I'm afraid. I'm, I, got my, I got a nigrophobia. A nigrophobia? A ratnophobia? No, a nigrophobia. I ain't never heard of that. It's new. Oh, my God, get him away. Jesus. Oh. You sure it ain't a ratnophobia? No, it's a nigrophobia. Oh, get him away. Security, please, please, thank you. Get him, please. Arrest him. Send him to jail for life or something. Please, God, get him away. You know what I mean? And that's the point. You summed it all up. She used the culture and moved on. They all do, but black people, we like that. We like that. You know what I'm saying? We like that. She used Ja Rule for the music, did it for the pop, for the pop culture side of it, and then she got the hell on. She ain't been with a nigga ever since. So, and that's J-Lo. But like I said, um, y'all would sit up here and tell me, no, I don't have no family in Alabama, not that I know of. But y'all would sit up here and tell me that when I say Cardi B and J-Lo are clear Latinas, they are not Afro-Latinas, y'all want to battle me. Black people, I'm confused. Black people, is y'all on here? I need y'all to tap in. When I tell y'all Cardi B... Uh, uh, Erica, Erica, Mina, and J Lo are clear Latinas. Y'all want to battle me? I'm confused. Why y'all battling me? I'm your sister. Why are you battling me? Because I'm stay, I'm stating the obvious. And it ain't all y'all. My bad, Kiki B. It ain't all y'all. There's a large majority. Whenever I say something like that, they be, like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, huh? How many times they got to do this for y'all to catch on that they know that they not you? You just a duck, duck, goose who think y'all the same. They know y'all not the same. That's why they keep using you, Cardi. That's why, let's go get her just for, just for all intents and purposes, just for a little contact. I keep telling y'all, y'all going to start saying like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I have all my sanity. I, this is, I have all my sanity. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. Let's go get Cardi. Cardi, go, look, let's go get her. Clear to clear, clear to clear contact. This her talking to that colonizer. Let's go get her. Hold on. I keep telling y'all, I know I ain't crazy. Y'all the one crazy. I know I ain't crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. This is something that like is like backlash over like Latinos using the N-word and so forth like that. Like, what's your approach to that? Um it's just it's something that like is like a lingo. Like, even if I want to stop saying it, I really can't stop saying it. Like, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, like. Mm. It seems like it's something that is so normal, which is bad, but like it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, 
It's like a lingo. It's like a lingo. Even if I say I stop, I want to stop saying it, I just can't because it's like a lingo. Like a lingo. But these are the people y'all want me to say it's black. I know somebody from Replay Gang gonna get on here like they did the last video and say, J-Lo is Afro-Latina. Evelyn Lozano is Afro-Latina. Erica is Afro-Latina. Cardi is Afro-Latina. I gotta spread the news. That if it feels this good being used, oh, you just keep on using me until you use me up. That's gonna be the back, the black folks' new song. That's gonna be y'all new song because y'all that's all y'all care about. Follow me on Twitter though. That's all y'all care about. So I'm gonna go ahead on it. That's gonna be the new theme song. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it will. Y'all love being used, so let's just go ahead on let them use us up like toilet paper. No, no Tyler Perry. Let's move on. Let's move on. You guys like the video. We only got 108, 103 likes, 105, I'm sorry. With 1.1, uh, almost 1.2 thousand people in the chat. Like the video, like the video, like the video. Now again, you seen Cardi, don't ever let nobody tell you, you ugly, you just ain't got no money, okay? Soon as you get you some money, you could buy a new face like Cardi did. Do we need to share that again? Soon as you get some money, you too. Hold on, let me get her back up here. Soon as you get some money, you too can change your face. Don't you ever let no listen. You know how they said when you was growing up, your mom used to tell your girl, you could do and be, you could be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. Y'all remember your mama used to say that? Well, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. I play like I'm your mama. Don't ever let nobody say that you ugly. You not ugly. You just ain't got no money. Get you a couple of dollars and buy you a new face. This ain't even the same bitch. Real talk. This is not even the same bitch. I, no, I, I, real talk. Listen to me and listen to me good. This is not even. This not even the same bitch. This is not the same girl. Ain't nobody, if, if anybody were to tell me if I didn't know what Cardi looked like then and somebody pulled this up, I'd be like, that's not that girl. Get you a new face, okay? Get you some money, get some good credit. Good credit to get you a new face too. Get you some good credit. You can get a new face, okay? You too can prevent forest fires and you can also prevent ugliness. Just get you a couple of dollars, Okay? Barty gang, if y'all on here, don't come dragging me. I didn't say nothing about it. I just put the picture up. The picture drags itself. So don't come in my my um um my comments replay game with that ugly ass shit. Oh, you just hating on Barty. <laughs> You're just hating on Barty doo doo because she's pretty, pretty ugly right here. <laughs> No wonder she was in there crying, talking about Offset saying, he, he always do this when I'm vulnerable and I'm insecure. Because, see, we see the new Cardi. Cardi see this Cardi. When Cardi look in the mirror, Cardi still see that Cardi. I know, I know we see the new Cardi. Let's go get her. Let's go get the new Cardi. I know it. I know it. We see the new Cardi. I know how this goes. You know what I'm saying? But, see, the way it works is when Cardi looks in the mirror, Cardi don't see this Cardi. Let me get her on here. Let me get her on here. I'm trying to tell y'all something. I'm just trying to show y'all something. You know, who am I? I ain't nobody. Let me show y'all something. Hold on. Let me see if one machine making that face. Because, you know, they love a good demonic look. Speaking of demonic looks, we're going to get into hers. Look. Look. See this Cardi here? We see this Cardi. This the Cardi we see, right? But that's not the Cardi that Cardi see. See, when Cardi look in the mirror, unfortunately, listen to me and listen to me good. If you're a Barty gang and you're on here, girl, go windmill on your mom, bitch. I said what I said, okay? If you're Barty gang and you're on here, go windmill on your mom. 
This is the Cardi we see. When she was over there crying, talking about Offset always does this to me when I'm the most vulnerable and insecure. <laughs> That's because we see that Cardi, but Cardi sees this. Okay? Now, this is no shade, no tea. I liked, at one point, Cardi's music. I don't... Once she started hitting that fiesta shit, I was like, let me jump off the plane. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to tell y'all. See, this is why when you go get um, when you go get, get gastric bypass, the my my 600 pound life people, you know what they make them people do? They make them people go to therapy. You, you want to know why they make them people go to therapy? Because regardless to what they do on the outside, if they don't repair the inside, the outside will never match the inside, which means it will never work. But see, with plastic surgery, they don't make you do all of that. You just go down there and say what you want, put Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want, and then boom, boom, boom. That's why somebody who looks like Barty, hold on, let me get on here. That's why somebody with a body like this, let me show you. I'm, I'm, I'm just, listen. I told y'all I got a psychology degree. So we're we going to put that motherfucker to use today. That's why when you see a woman who looks like this, you will say her body is perfect. She's beautiful. Like what is going on, right? And then you hear her on us. Offset always does this when I'm most vulnerable and insecure. And you say insecure where, bitch? Insecure where? Where is the insecurity? So you got to understand, regardless of how it look here, even if she thinks she a bad bitch on Monday morning, see Monday evening when she take that makeup off and put that fire on, boo, scared you. <laughs> Bitch, I thought I was Houdini. I just did magic. Okay? Oh, girl. Here you go. We've got one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Let me go get a... Is it just me? It's always a count that don't have no face on it. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Is it just me says, I am black, allegedly. Put your face on here so we can know it. I am the highest on the totem pole. Can't tell. You ain't got your face on here. I am the most desired. Oh, girl, please, you ain't black. You sound like a black man. You sound like a black man. The most desired. Bitch, black women don't even talk like that. I don't need to drag other races to feel better about myself. Bitch, who told you I need to drag somebody to feel better about me? I'm a bad bitch through and through. What is you talking about? Who told you I need to drag a bitch to feel better about me? Bitch, it's called self-esteem. Bitch, do you understand how I feel about myself? You obviously don't know how I feel about me. You can't know how I feel about me. Bitch, big head and all, bitch. A bitch can't tell me nothing, especially when I put my clothes. Girl, please. Bitch, girl, come on now. I'm not dragging her. I'm just giving the honest to God truth. She's crying insecurity because even though she looks the way y'all think she looks, in her mind, that's how she looks. And you allegedly a black woman, but the uh, highest on a totem pole and the most, what you said? Most desired girl, Kevin Samuels, worm food. If you don't get your ugly ass off of here, bitch. Worm food. If you don't get your ugly ass off of here, coming back through AI, go back to lay down uh, worm food. Worm food, go lay back down. And this time, don't get back up, worm food, because that's what it's giving. I feel like it's worm food coming through AI, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Now, don't have me go pray to God to have you put to rest eternally, worm food. They letting you roam around the free world. Go lay down, worm food. Please go lay down, worm food. Because that's what it's giving. I, I say a prep to the most high and he'll put your ass to rest eternally. Do you hear me? He letting you roam and do your little one, two, yin, yin, yin. Bitch, tread light. Tread light, worm food. I know who this is. 
highest on the totem pole most desired. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Black women don't even talk like that. Get your ugly ass off of here wearing food before I say a prayer and, and fuck your whole shit up. Fuck wrong with you. Get off of here. Shit. Anyways, bad bitch, what's up? And I said what I said. Barty sees that when she look in the mirror. That's why she was online crying. And I said what I said. Anyways, speaking of demonic photos, since we're going to the semen, I need all semen up front. Semen, semen, swim to the front. I'm going to give y'all y'all theme music. To sit. Wait, before y'all come up. Look. So Barty put this photo up, right? Barty put this photo up. You know what I'm saying? And people just on the regular naked eyes like, oh my God, it's cute. Forgetting all the symbolism. See, all these celebrities are puppets for the powers that be. What they do is they spread devil shit. Okay? They spread devil shit. So I know she wearing white and she got doves holding each of the doggone thing. But y'all see the sit Baphomet? Yes, all of that, girl. Is it just me still on here talking? As long as is it just me not being disrespectful, let them talk. But no, most people don't understand the sign, the misunderstood, a modern woman. They don't understand. But see, this one right here, this one went over most people's head, right? This one went over most people's head. See, they have to pledge allegiance to these gods and deities to get the success that they have. If you're not on my Rumble Deep Dive, then go check out what we did, what we talked about with, with Joe Jackson and the Jackson Five, girl. These people gotta, these people have to pledge allegiance to deities and all of that. Cross like all of it. All of it. So speaking of, Barty, your turn is off. Barty, get off of here. Your turn is off. You guys hit the like button. Hit the like button. So speaking of y'all, um, Riri, I need all of the um semen. I'm gonna I'm sing y'all theme song, y'all. I'm singing y'all theme song when y'all come to the front. That way y'all get y'all can swim together in a school to the front. Semen, this is your time. It's your time to sign, shine, Barty gang. Y'all step back, let the semen through. Step back and let the semen through, okay? Uh, we're beautiful. No, no, no. Hi, hi. Started off. So shine bright tonight. This y'all um theme song. You and I. We're beautiful like semen in the sea. I too I. You are we're beautiful like semen in the sea. Shine bright like a semen. Shine bright like a semen. Shine bright like a semen. Beautiful like semen in the sea. Shine bright like a semen. Shine bright like a semen. Shine bright like a semen. Like semen in the sea. Semen, are y'all up here? Semen, are y'all up here? I need all of the semen up here. Swim together in one big school up to the front. Okay? I need all of y'all to swim together in one big pool up to the front, semen. Okay? Please. I need y'all up here. Now, Riri did some new poses. I don't know if this is an album. I don't know what's going on. Okay? All I know is Riri put some new photos out, right? And normally, you know, the semen, they, they ride for they, they sail them. And, you know, they be ready to ride, you know. But when I seen this, I said, ain't no motherfucking way. So let's start here first. Let me see that music. Literally how I feel postpartum with two under two. Look at, look at Riri. Semen. I need y'all up front. Can you guys explain some of these photos to me? She looked possessed. The bitch looked possessed. She looked possessed. Look. Ain't she giving the Joker from the new Batman? I ain't bullshitting. Look. It's, it's like, oh, I think she's possessed. I think she's possessed. Oh, 
somebody gets, there's more. Hold on, there's more. Look, you see her? Look. Shine bright like a semen. What is that white stuff in her face? What that mean? What that supposed to mean? You see that white stuff on her face? Bitch, you on that powder? Semen, is your leader on, to, on powder? I need one of the semen to uh, drop a one in the chat if you if you lead on that powder. Number two, if she not. What is going on? Is your leader on that powder? Who takes a picture? Look at this. Her legs dirty too. Oh, I ain't even see that. Somebody said one, somebody said two. The jury's still out. Is she on that powder? And they hurry up and snap the picture. They say no. The people say no. Girl. Seaman. I have a few questions. There's more, but I have a few questions for the seaman. Seaman, what is going on with your leader? Seaman, shine bright like a seaman. So shine bright. Tonight, you and I, we're beautiful like semen in the sea. I too are so alive. We're beautiful like semen in the sea. Shine bright like a semen. What is going on here? Now, nah, I already seen the comments. I already know what's about to happen. Y'all gonna say this ain't got nothing to do with God. I heard somebody say a nun don't even like God. Girl, y'all say anything when it's your leader. When I heard that person, when I see that comment, somebody say a nun don't even uh, worship God. I said, oh, bitch, y'all now, y'all doing the most now. Now, now, now it's getting out of hand. Now it's getting out of hand. What's going on with your own, um, your leader? Hey, Seaman, take me to your leader. What is going on? Girl, y'all will say anything for y'all faves, ain't you? I, it's, it's scary. The things y'all will say for y'all faves. What is happening here? Seaman, I don't hear a lot of y'all. Y'all was dropping the ones and twos, but y'all not telling me what's going on. What is happening? Y'all like the video, please. Like the video, like the video, like the video. They say they love their leader. Well, explain what is happening here. See, man, y'all gonna be on the Chronicles of Narnia here in 30 days. What is going on with your leader? I guess this is fine because it's Riri. Because it's Riri, it's different. If it was somebody y'all didn't like, y'all would be dragging. Because it's Riri, it's different, right? Is that what we saying? It's because it's Riri, it's different? It look like fangs. Let me see. Open your mouth, girl. Let me see what's in your mouth. Open your mouth. No, I don't see no fangs. But I don't know what the fuck going on. Nuns are supposed to be holy women of God. Not showing one boob with, with whore lipstick on. My mom used to say whores wear red. Why she got on red lipstick with a boob out in, in the nun um, outfit? You know what's so weird? These people be telling y'all in their face, in y'all face. And y'all don't, y'all, girl, they blinded by the fame. They blinded by their face. They blinded. Shine bright like a semen. Oh, here go a better picture. Hold on. Let me show y'all a better picture. Hold on. Here's a better picture. You see it? Dressed in all black like the omen. So I guess y'all gonna be dressed like this for Halloween, huh? I guess this is gonna be the new Halloween costume this year. All the hoes gonna be dressed like um nun hoes. They say the whole the nuns is supposed to be pure virgins. That's what they say. They say the nuns is pure virgins. They give their virginity up to the God. And y'all is over here slutting out the nuns. Is this a new album coming out? Is this a new album? 
Somebody help me. What the word say? Let me see what the word say, girl. Hold on. Something view. Let me see. The baby playing that demonic music. You hear that? It's the church bells in the background. You hear? Bitch, this sound like the conjuring. What it say? Men what it say? Hold on, y'all. Pause it. Hold on. What it say? Interview. Interview is what it say. Interview. Is this an album? What is this? Hmm. But I guess because it's y'all leader is different. It's different, voodoo. We're semen. We're semen, voodoo. It's different. You don't understand. You're not a semen. It's not the same, voodoo. It's not the same. We're semen. You don't understand. You have to be a semen to understand, voodoo. It's not the same. Oh, here we go. Got some more. Do got some more. Listen, y'all ain't gonna tell me I ain't motherfucking tripping. I know what the fuck I'm looking at. I know the, the, the devil when I see him, okay? Let's get Riri back up here. Now, what is this? Who done popped upside the head? What is this? Yeah, Jeff. Jeff said I gotta be a semen to understand. That's what it is. I'm not a semen. What is this though? Jeff, can you explain? What is this? Interview is a magazine. Okay. But what is this? Y'all answering all the wrong questions. What is this? She looked like a nigga. She looked like a nigga. How to grill hard? It just looked like, oh, it looked like when you take the, um, Aluminum furl and put it on your teeth. Yeah, that's her. Say, uh, satin world. Yes, that's her. That's her. I'm trying to see what's going on. I'm trying to see what happened. Hold on, we got more. She looks like a nigga. Okay, Aqua Rain, feel better. Y'all saw that? What is happening? Somebody need to explain something to me. Girl, if somebody would have told me this was the trailer for a scary movie, I'd be like, that bitch about to be fire. I would be, be like, this bitch about to be fire. What is going on, semen? Ain't none of y'all told me what was going on. All y'all said was you like the grill. Y'all said it was an interview magazine. Y'all said everything but what is going on, uh, semen. This is what they're going to be dressed like for Halloween. I'm scared. Remember I told y'all these people be puppets? I told y'all that. Y'all didn't want to listen to me. Y'all didn't want, when I said it, y'all didn't want to listen to me. Like the video, y'all. Like the video. If I'm not monetized, if y'all want to support the channel, hit that cash app right there. But I'm not monetized. Like the video. If you want to really help me out, like the video. That'll work. Just like the video. But I'm trying to see something. What's going on? Marvin, when he asked what was going on, I don't think he really was asking to get a real, oh, we got more. Hold on. We got more. We got more. I didn't think Marvin really, you know what I'm saying? He, I don't think he really knew what he was asking. Hold on. Let's get her on here. Now she got a pin covering her boobs. With some Charlie's Angels boots. Some snow goggles. And some 80s shorts. This one is probably not the this is probably the least the least problematic one than the other ones. Oh look, and this is the crazy thing, uh GA Missy. 
Erica Badu was the first one under the dog on um under the comments talking about oh sir sis you're looking good I bet you do think she look good bitch what is you doing with the placentas for them babies I heard they said I didn't say it Erica Badu but they said you be taking them sure them people's placentas and doing shit with it what is you doing of course you love it of course this is right up your alley allegedly i didn't say it this is what they said don't come over here talking to me crazy i'm just telling y'all what they said so don't come over here talking to me crazy now we got more visual arts hold on i don't even know if you two are let me rule it like that but you see what i'm saying We're beautiful like semen in the sea. I too are so alive. We're beautiful like semen in the sea. Shine bright like a semen. Shine bright like a semen. Anyways, let's move on. Semen, your services are no longer needed. Thank you for your services. You're no longer needed, Seaman, because y'all didn't really help me out anyway. Okay. So since y'all didn't help me out, Seaman, you're you're you are no thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Because y'all didn't really say nothing. Okay. So now y'all remember when Rihanna and Sierra had got into it on Twitter. Y'all remember that? I remember that. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember when Sierra and um and Rihanna got into it because Rihanna was being messy and starting uh fights and beefs and all of that. Y'all get the likes up. We almost had a thousand likes. Get the likes up. Remember they got into it? That was back when Rihanna used to be on, on Twitter just going ham. That was before she got all that money and them people told her, shut your big head ass up. Ooh, don't, get on, don't go on there with that. You know what I'm saying? So look. It says, neighbors, it says, Rihanna Flex on telling Sierra, good luck booking that stage you speak of, says she's now, she's a silent troll now. It says, neighbors, we don't know what was biting Sierra in 2011, but she was getting eight up. During a recent tell-all uh, with in, interview with, wait, during a recent tell-all with Interview Magazine, Rihanna revisited her famous 2011 Twitter spat with fellow singer Sierra. It says, if you're thinking this is a reflection of uh, wait, if you're thinking this is a reflection that follows, that's followed by an apology or I wish I handled it differently, like sugar on your grits, you are wrong. When asked her thoughts on telling Sierra good luck on booking that stage you speak of, Rihanna said the troll in me, she had a good time. Unfortunately, you can't take anything back from the internet, so I will always have the reminders, but the best troll in me is the silent troll. Rihanna and Sierra beef started when Sierra started or shared that Rihanna would, had ignored her saying hello at an event. Sierra assumed it was because Rihanna was more famous at the time and thought she was too big to speak. Rihanna took to her Twitter and said, thought you were the help. Ooh, Rihanna. She said she thought Sierra was the help. Sierra responded with, trust me, Rihanna, you don't want to see me on or off the stage. Clock it. That's when Rihanna tweeted a response that would live on for the rest of her career. You gangsta, huh? Hi, good luck with booking that stage you speak of. That's what Rihanna said. And then, see how, and then it goes on to say, it's important to know that the singers did apologize to each other later that night. So we're sure it's all just water under the bridge now. Rihanna kicked the apology off with Sierra, baby. I love you, girl. You hurt my feelings real bad on TV. I'm heartbroken. That's why I related, I retaliated this way. So sorry. Hashtag let's make up. Sierra responded with, Re, you know it's always been love since day one. Doing shows, everything you threw me off in that party. Apology accepted. Let's chat in person. Let me say this. I don't know Sierra in real life, but that girl has been the most unproblematic celebrity, black celebrity that I've seen. One of the most. That girl has been one of the most unproblematic celebrities in this space. That's why I can see why her and Russell Williams uh, work together so well, because they really do have matching personalities somewhat. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure Rihanna was acting all big headed. No pun intended. Insert pun. I got a big head, too. So I know how I go. So let's get into the tweets, girl. 
Not this back in the day. So Sierra said, Re, you know it's always no. Let me stop here. My bad, see, did I forget to tip you? That's what Rihanna said. Bitch, what you mean? Sierra said, trust me, you don't want to see me on or off that stage. I'm going to stop you when you start lying, Sierra. Now, both of y'all are, are vocally challenged for the most part. But on stage, she not fucking with you. Riri said, you gangster. Ha ha. And Rihanna said, also says, good luck with booking that stage you speak of. She said, Sierra, baby. And then she came back. Sierra, baby, I love you, girl. Um, you hurt my feelings real bad on TV. I'm heartbroken. That's why I retaliated this way. So sorry. Hashtag let's make up. Sierra says pure comedy. She said, Re, you know, it's always been love since day one. Doing shows, everything you threw me off in that party. Apology accepted. Let's chat in person. My name on Rumble is Welcome to the Dollhouse. Somebody drop the link. Please drop the Rumble link, please. One of my minds, if you can. I'm going to pin it to the top of the chat. If you can, you guys, can one of my um, mods drop the rumble leak and I'll pin it to the top of the chat? But me, you sent me two pictures well on Instagram. Where you sent them at? Oh, there we go. No, no. I, I, my fat ass fingers, girl. Hold on. Pin. Replace pin. There you go. Yes, that's the Rumble link. That's the link to Rumble. Listen, um, did you send it to me on Instagram, me? I could go get it. I could go get it real quick before we get off of here. But you guys, let me say this, y'all. Let me say this. Riri probably was acting funny with the girl. You know what I'm saying? What this is? What is this, honey? What is this, honey? Oh, yeah. We saw we watched this. We saw these already. Both all of them be on that demonic shit. Beehive is y'all on here. Y'all know how I go now. Don't get on here acting crazy. What is this? I don't know what this is, me here. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, Zoe. Happy birthday to the Aries, since y'all bullied me to say it anyway. Happy birthday, y'all. Happy birthday to the Aries. Happy birthday to the Aries. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday. But, you guys, um, Rihanna probably was being nasty to that girl. Let me say this. Ultimately, regardless of what's going on, the way that that whole setup is going, I don't like it. But that's y'all leader, Seaman. Please go ask her, hit her up, do a wellness check. Something might be going on. It might be AI and um and something else going on, okay? You guys, if you have not already followed me on Rumble, the link is pinned to the top of the chat. You can watch it on your TV. You can watch it on the airplane. You can watch it wherever you want to watch it. We about to go over there and do and start another deep dive. We about to go over there and start another deep dive, okay? Uh, We do a lot of celebrity deep dives, but we go get the uh, salacious, like, Horrible shit. Like, I know everybody get the tea, but we be looking for the, you know, like, the pastor was fucking on this lady. Because I heard C.L. Franklin got a 12-year-old girl pregnant, bitch. Did y'all hear that? I did. I did. I did. So let me tell y'all who we could decide on. And again, it ain't going to be a really long live, but we'll come back tomorrow. Y'all know we do Tuesday and Wednesday on, on Rumble anyway. So it ain't going to be too long, but it'll be, you know what I'm saying? Something that we could woot the woot. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see who all we got. So, if y'all want, we can do Teddy Pendergrass. I found a trans woman he was caught in the car with that nobody wants to talk about. We could do Teddy. Close the door. You know, he was a gay. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the girls. He was a loose wristed. You didn't know that. Um, then all we could do, we could start CL Franklin. They say he was around there impregnating them churn. We could start CL Franklin, or we could go ahead and get um we can go ahead and get Aretha. It, how y'all want to do it? Y'all want to start with Aretha and then go on to her Paul? But I said I, I want to do it because I know that's gonna lead us deep into the church. Yeah, everybody knew about Teddy. I'm trying to see who else on this list I could go get. Y'all want to start with Riri? 
C.L. Franklin is Aretha's uh, daddy. Let's start with Aretha. All right, we're going to start with Riri. We're going to start with Riri. We're going to start with Riri. It's 718. Meet me over there about 8 o'clock. Y'all know I'm going to put some music on before that. You say Quincy Jones. Let's do this. This is what we do because I did, I did, um, I did uh, tell y'all I was going to do Quincy Jones. We're going to do a little snippet of tea on Quincy and then we're going to get into Riri, okay? Let's get a, a snippet of, of Quincy and then we're going to get to Riri, all right? I got to make a thumbnail and put it up there. Meet me over there for 8 o'clock. If you come in 15 minutes earlier, I have some music playing that we can vibe out, okay? Y'all know how we roll. The link to Rumble is pinned to the top of the chat. Like the video if you have not already. You guys, thank you for the cash apps. Hold on. Let me go. Let me thank everybody for these cash apps. Thank you. Hold on. Living Monet for cash app. Keep doing you, Vu. Thank you so much. Thank you, Valencia. Thank you for the cash app. I appreciate you. Who else on here? Thank you, Deb S uh S U Lee. Deb Sully, thank you for the cash app. I appreciate you, my love. Who else on here? Thank you, Gorge Smiley, for the cash app being so funny on your lives. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, that green vegan, for the cash app for the message. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lee Jones, for the cash app. One chocolate to another. Is chocolate. Is, is chocolate. Is chocolate. Thank you, Chanel Meadows, for the cash app. I appreciate you. And some a couple of people cash at me this morning. I want to recognize them. Thank you, Shundi, for the cash app. Keep talking shit. Do. Gonna talk my shit. And who gonna pop me? Gina 44 Acres Homes. Thank you for the cash app. Love you, Voodoo Doll, for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. No, thank y'all for the support. Like I said, if y'all really want to support, thank you, Gina 44 Acres. I, yeah, we, I just did that one. If y'all really want to support you guys, please hit the like button. That'll do. I mean, yeah, send a couple of dollars. A bitch need a couple. You know what I'm saying? A bitch might need something to eat or something. But, you know, for the most part, go ahead and hit, um, hit that like button. You guys, I, I, we going to be over there by 8 o'clock. Pull up 745. I'm going to have a music playing, all right? I got to make a thumbnail and I got to do all of this, okay? So, all right, you guys. I love you guys. 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock. If you pull up 15 minutes before, I'll be playing some music. You know DJ Vu got to get up once and two's gone, okay? So, I love you guys. Meet me over there on Rumble. Let me go ahead and Josh y'all up out of here. If you're new to the dollhouse, please just subscribe because you're going to come back, girl. We be Josing over here acting a fool, okay? I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for everything. And I'll see y'all over there. Bye. Check one two one two. We live in. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. Now, it's your boy Big Two, the voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's the beat for me. Wah 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 for your guy, for your boy. Drop it for your guy, for your boy. Do it for your guy, for your boy. Big back, back, come on, baby, we are. Come on, Blazer, you know. Drop me a nasty beat. Mr. Carroll, how you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.